Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Alice and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is her ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The little corrections and lots of love that we give the dogs when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give any correction and the only correction that we give here at school is a little tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Ali and Ziggy are going to come home with their very own training equipment and you will be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Now if you notice she's sitting very nicely at Rich's left which is where all formal obedience is done and the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash without pulling you down the street and the command is Ally heel. Allie, heel. Now at this point Ally has a job to do and that is to stay focused on you, not to forge ahead, not to drag you down the street, but to walk nicely next to you. And each time that you stop your feet she has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. So this makes the dog more focused on you when walking and when you stop either to cross traffic or to speak to someone on the street she's sitting nicely and waiting for her next command and the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the sit stay. stay open left palm right in front of her muzzle the one word firm command to stay and you're going to practice this exercise with your dogs right in your living room as well as outside this is great for developing self-control and maturity. When Rich returns back to her, he walks all the way around her as an additional distraction and returns all the way back to where they started. And everything starts and stops at heel position. So every time you return to heel position or the dog returns to heel position, they expect to get another command. You have to let them know what you're going to do next. And she's healing beautifully with Rich staying right with him she's focused on him each time he stops she sits nicely automatically she's got some spunk to her she's an ornery little teenager <laughs> but you go back to making her do it correctly don't let her get out of it now this time instead of returning all the way back around her rich is going to demonstrate the recall or the come on command and the most important thing is that they learn to come and sit right in front of you and not put their front feet on you. And all sporting dogs want to jump on you. So you want to make sure that she comes and sits. She's done a great job here at school. They're really nice dogs. Nice automatic stay. sit, stay. And Rich backs away from her and then he uses her name, lightens his tone, but don't get too crazy because you want her to come in a controlled manner and sit. Perfect. That was like picture perfect. Back to heel and back sitting. Good job. Now the next exercises that we're going to be demonstrating for you are your down commands. And there are two of them. There's down from a heel position and there's down from a distance. So the first one that we're going to demonstrate for you is down from a heel position. So you always have your dog seated before you attempt to put them into a down. Rich is going to use his left open palm straight down toward the ground. The one word firm command to down and stay. Your stationary exercises, your sit stays and your down stays should be practiced indoors as well as outdoors. And put your leashes on your dogs and practice right in the living room. When Rich returns back to her, he walks all the way around her just as he did on the sit stay. That's a distraction for her and she has to remain lying there until she gets her next command. And Rich heals her out of that and we're going to demonstrate that down from the heel again for you. And you can use your videos to practice with at home, make it fun. You'll be much more likely to practice if the dogs and you enjoy the time together. 
and Amanda's going to be teaching you how to put all of these commands into practical application at home. Now this time Rich is going to call her. She comes right in and sits. Good job. And back to heel and back sitting. Good. They've had a blast here. They have run and played, had tons of fun, and they've done a great job with learning their skills. Rich leaves her in a sit stay, turns to face her, and this is your down from a distance. She thought about it for a minute, but she did it. Very good. Now we've demonstrated for you all of Alice's formal obedience commands, her healing, sitting, staying, laying down at a heel, laying down from a distance and coming. These are the exercises that you're going to practice with Allie at home. We'll be right back to show you Ziggy.